The most important features of American culture I would identify in the following way. Um, the technological project, free market economy, limited government, rule of law, and a culture which promotes uh, uh, personal autonomy. Uh, the, perhaps the most controversial aspect of that culture right now is the free market economy. Uh, that is most definitely being eroded by people who either don't understand how it fits with the other institutions and with our culture, or by people, even if they do understand it, are very much opposed to it for lots of different reasons. The Judeo-Christian inheritance had to be translated into a modern idiom when the world moved from a medieval, feudal, uh, agrarian economy into a modern economy which we associate with commerce, industry, and now, of course, technology. The uh, one way of telling the story or of uh, expressing that inheritance in a new idiom uh, was offered by John Locke. And uh, he pretty much embraced that, uh, that narrative. Uh, and uh, people who embrace that narrative and who feel successful within it sort of tell a particular story about themselves, uh, namely that uh, we're here to transform the world, that that's somehow part of what God wants us to do, uh, that we are created as free individuals, we should be allowed to have private property property and to express our creativity. Government is here to serve us, not the other way around. In order for the, the government to do that, you need the rule of law, not of men. Um, and the kind of people who flourish best in that system are those who think of themselves as individuals. All of that comes out of the Judeo-Christian inheritance. Those people who did not understand the new world, or who rejected the new world, offered a very different account. Uh, perhaps the first person to offer such an account uh, was Jean-Jacques Rousseau. Um, he pretty much rejected just about everything in the modern world, and every criticism that anybody ever made of the modern world can all be found uh, in his works. Marx picked it up, uh, the difference being that Marx uh, embraced uh, the technology uh, and, and industry, but pretty much came uh, to accept Rousseau's critique of the social institutions. One way of putting it is that the Rousseau-Marx narrative wants to maintain a traditional society uh, where the whole is more important than the parts, uh, where equality is more important than liberty, etc., whereas the Lockean narrative embraces technology, it embraces free markets, uh, it embraces individual freedom, uh, and that's why we call it the liberty narrative. And the liberty narrative wants to limit the power of government uh, to serve the economy and to serve individuals. The, uh, the Rousseau narrative, the Rousseau-Marx narrative, essentially wants to see society as a whole run by a bunch of technocrats who are always, of course, uh, defining themselves as the experts, uh, and wants to emphasize what we have in common, not our individual differences. There certainly is no celebration of liberty and no celebration of individuality uh, and human freedom in the Rousseau-Marx narrative.